Taking another look at uh, early Triumph TR4 seat tracks, I did obtain one set for the driver's side of the car only for a princely sum on eBay after being the second highest bidder a couple of times on auctions that exceeded $200 just for seat tracks. But I have these now. So, an overview if you've seen my other video. On, on one side of the car, like the driver's side, the bolt pattern that goes into the floor is the same distance apart on the seat track. But on the car floor, it's not a rectangle, it's a parallelogram, which adds complexity. Also, the studs that go through the seat are not evenly spaced. So you've got these tracks in the car offset to one another and then these distances not the same. This is why the driver's seat won't fit on the passenger side and vice versa. The tracks are handed and this pattern is, uh, I think that's called a rhombus. It's neither a rectangle nor a parallelogram. So to attach the seat to the floor before I got a hold of this set, I made my own system of these straps and spacers. The way this works, I made these straps with the studs the same distance apart as the studs that go through the seat and then multiple holes in each strap to go into the floor the only adjustment fore and aft is to unbolt it and bolt it through a new set of holes. And it created this dead zone of no adjustment. You can't sit in this region. You can sit far from the steering wheel or very close to the steering wheel. But for now you can't sit in this region because I can't put a hole here. That's where the stud is. And if I put a hole here, I'd need a hole here where this stud belongs. But this worked well for uh, a couple years now holding the seat to the floor and the other aspect of it is these spacers to give about the same offset up from the floor. They have the small holes to drop over the studs and then these very large diameter holes to fit over the bolt heads coming up through the floor wherever they might be. So that drops onto there pretty easily once it's bolted into the floor and then the seat goes onto the top. The opposite side, and this is all on the driver's side, you know, it looks different. This wound up very close to that, but this one's a little tougher to get to drop down too. There it goes. So these homemade arrangements were on the car taking the place of these seat tracks that I just got. So I still have no factory seat tracks for the passenger side seat which up to now was just flopping around. So I'm looking to move my homemade arrangement to the passenger side and it might be I have to drill yet another pattern of holes into it to have it fit on the passenger side. I don't know that yet. So perhaps once I figure that out, I'll make yet another video. Nobody makes this in reproduction. The TR3, I believe, is in reproduction, and the late TR4 is in reproduction but nobody reproduces these early TR4 seat tracks. Maybe that's why they're so expensive on eBay. And if there were demand, I would consider mass producing this arrangement, but most guys out there just put in Fiero seats or Miata seats these days anyway. So again, I've got my factory seat tracks. I'll bolt down the driver's seat with those and I'll adapt my homemade setup now to fit the passenger side of the car. I'll have Triumph seats on both sides. 
Thanks and be sure and watch my other videos.